Ever wondered how your friends influence your life? Epictetus, an ancient philosopher, said, we're shaped not by events, but by our reactions to them. This is key in Stoicism, which teaches that our company affects our mindset and actions deeply. Not all influences are good, though. Some people hold us back, especially if they're against changing. Today, we'll highlight eight types of people to avoid for a better, stoic-driven life. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe for more tips on stoicism and personal growth. Let's get started on identifying who might be blocking your path to success. 1. The self-deceived. Ever met someone who just doesn't see things as they are, ignoring facts that don't fit their view? They've tricked themselves into believing a version of reality that's far from the truth, often to avoid pain, fear of failure, or just to feel accepted. These people aren't necessarily trying to be harmful, they're just stuck in a world they've built to feel safe. Stoicism teaches the importance of being honest with yourself and facing reality head on. But helping someone who's deceiving themselves can be tough. They might not see or accept what's real, even if you try to show them. Sometimes, it's better to suggest professional help than to keep trying when it's not working. This approach can gently guide them towards facing the truth, which is a big step in personal growth and living a stoic life. 2. The advantageous. Ever come across people who use others' kindness for their own gain without feeling bad about it? They're experts at taking advantage of good-hearted people, draining their resources, time and energy without giving anything back. Stoicism values helping each other, but also teaches us to be smart about who we help. These users are good at hiding their true intentions with charm or fake vulnerability, tricking others into supporting them continuously without ever taking responsibility. The stoic way to deal with such people is to use wisdom to spot manipulation and set boundaries to protect ourselves. Stoicism tells us it's okay to help, but not at the cost of being used. By standing up to or avoiding these exploiters, we stick to stoic principles of being wise and fair, making sure our help goes to those who truly appreciate and need it. 3 the self-centered. Self-centered people, focused only on their own needs and desires, clash with stoic values of community and mutual growth. They see everything from their perspective, ignoring others' feelings and needs. This selfishness makes forming meaningful relationships difficult and puts pressure on those around them. Dealing with someone who's all take and no give is like being on a one-way street where everything you do benefits them without any return. Trying to help them or seek mutual growth ends up being draining. Stoicism teaches us to support others, but also to grow ourselves, a balance that's impossible with self-centered individuals. They often don't see or care about their impact on others. For those aiming for personal and communal improvement, Stepping back or setting clear boundaries with self-centered people is crucial. This allows you to save your energy for more balanced and rewarding relationships. 4. The Irresponsible People who constantly avoid responsibility and blame others for their problems go against the stoic principle of owning up to your actions. This mindset not only stops their personal growth, but also burdens those around them who feel they have to compensate for this lack of accountability. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of taking charge of our decisions and learning from every outcome. We can't control everything that happens, but we can control how we respond and what we learn from it. However, getting someone who sees themselves as a perpetual victim to accept responsibility is tough. They often resist any suggestion that they might be at fault for their situations. Sometimes the stoic approach is to step back and let people face the consequences of their actions, 
hoping they'll eventually understand the value of being accountable and making their own choices. This can be difficult, but it might be the only way for them to learn. 5. The Visionless People who just go through life without any real goals or desire to improve clash with Stoicism's push for constant self-betterment and finding a meaningful life direction. Stoics believe in using the present as a stepping stone to build a future that aligns with personal values and aspirations. Yet some seem content with just letting life happen, showing no interest in change or personal growth. Helping someone find their ambition requires patience and a good grasp of what motivates people. Often, a lack of direction stems from fear of failure, feelings of not being good enough or simply not having been inspired. For Stoics, the answer isn't to push, but to gently guide, encouraging engagement with new ideas, experiences and communities that could spark curiosity and motivation. It's about leading by example, showing the deep fulfillment that comes from pursuing meaningful goals and the journey of self-discovery. 6. The Pessimist Pessimists, who always see the glass as half-empty, really challenge the stoic way of keeping a balanced view through life's good and bad times. By only focusing on the negatives, they miss out on joy and can bring down others too. Stoicism teaches us to face hard times with courage, using them as chances to learn and grow. But pessimists see every problem as too big to overcome, proof that life is just tough. Changing a pessimist's mindset is about more than just cheering them up. It requires a deep shift in how they see the world. Stoic practices, like focusing on what we can control and staying grounded in the present, are key to this change. Encouraging pessimists to adopt stoic habits, such as thinking about life's impermanence or being thankful for what's good, can help break down their negative thinking. It's about helping them see life's balance, that with every challenge, there's also opportunity for beauty, growth and joy. Moving away from pessimism is a slow journey made through small but meaningful steps in changing how they view life, inspired by Stoic. 7. The Blame Shifters Blame shifters always find someone else to point their finger at, never owning up to their own actions. This goes against Stoic principles of self-awareness and constantly working on oneself. Stoicism teaches us to look inside, honestly examining our actions and their effects. Dealing with blame shifters is tiring, especially if you're trying to grow personally. They avoid taking responsibility, making it hard to communicate effectively or improve together. Their refusal to see their own faults keeps them stuck in negative behaviors, blocking any chance of progress. When dealing with blame shifters, Stoicism suggests using empathy, but also understanding the limits of our influence. We might want to spark a realization in them, but real change has to come from within. Setting boundaries and living by example can silently show the importance of taking responsibility for our actions. 8. The Entitled Feeling entitled Believing you deserve special treatment or a certain lifestyle without putting in the work goes against everything Stoicism stands for. Stoics believe in living in sync with nature, realizing we're part of a bigger picture and earning our place in society through good actions and contributing to the common good. Entitlement, however, comes from a place of selfishness, seeking personal gain over community well-being. Changing this mindset isn't easy. It usually takes facing real challenges that shake up this way of thinking. Stoic exercises like reflecting on our small part in the universe, the temporary nature of wealth and status, and valuing ourselves for our actions and character can help shift this perspective. And dealing with entitled people calls for patience, empathy, and compassion 
but also sticking to stoic principles of fairness and not supporting entitled behavior. Showing the way through our own example, living out stoic values of earning respect and contributing to society can inspire change more effectively than direct confrontation. As we wrap up our look at personalities that can make self-improvement harder, let's recall what Marcus Aurelius said. The best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. This advice sums up our main point. Instead of holding on to anger at those who might slow us down, we should focus on growing our own virtues, toughness and understanding. Our main battle in seeking to better ourselves is within, choosing who influences us and living by our values. This video has covered self-deception, exploitation, narcissism, shirking responsibility and more. We've done this not to point fingers, but to reflect on our own growth. As you navigate complex relationships, remember that Stoicism offers guidance towards self-awareness, taking responsibility and contributing to the common good. We suggest watching this video several times. Each time you might see things in a new light, deepen your understanding and further incorporate Stoic wisdom into your life turning challenges into chances for growth. Share this with others on the same path. In sharing knowledge, we find community and strength. Subscribe for more content that aims to inspire, challenge and guide you toward a meaningful life. Remember Seneca's words, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. Let this be your mantra as you grow, surrounded by inspiring people and not held back by those who don't contribute to your journey. Personal growth is a continuous journey, filled with both obstacles and triumphs. Choose your influences wisely, nurture your inner self, and may your path be lit with progress, wisdom, and deep satisfaction.